Hello YouTube Vintage Stereo Restorers. Nice sunny day out there. We've had a nicer fall than summer was. Um, got my happy coffee. <laughs> can't, can't go wrong. Um, I'm just finishing off this Sony ST5600. Those are the caps I've changed. Not that many electrolytics in it. Most of them are on this audio board right here or in the power supply, there's only a few um, throughout the RF and IF sections in the multiplexer. A lot of it's direct coupled. It was a pretty simple design. Um, but I noticed something, and this isn't just with this tuner, and it's not with, it's been with several tuners I've had working here. And I, will, I would just be like, in between stations, especially between stations you can hear it and if there's no muting on a certain interference and it's not a gritty capacitor or anything like that it is some kind of a digital sing signal coming through and it sounds a bit like sort of like that and it actually on a couple stations when I had the tuner sitting like this level horizontal on the upper end of the dial, some of the stations actually had it in the audio. I'm like, what is that? Is there an issue here with the multiplexer? I'm going, I'm not sure. So I stood it up, turned my light on like this, and I'm listening to my headphones, and it's gone. And what I found by moving it like this, I could alter the signal. I'm like, that's RF interference. And I've been in telecommunications a lot of years. That's actually where my degree is. Um, I brought out this little thing here. My Retivis. <laughs> R511. This is from an Amazon toy. And what it basically is, it senses RF between 50 megahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. And when I first bought this, we were living in an apartment condo that had a cell phone antenna on the roof. First time I hit it and it did its automatic, you know, looking for stations, I was getting, I could see, what is this? There's a signal at 2.2 gigahertz. It's like, where's all this? Oh, it's from the roof. Now, what's interesting with this, I don't know if it'll pick up the oscillator on this. It might. It has to be very close to pick it up. So it's not picking up much from this board. Okay. But I did a little walk around. My router and modem is about 14 feet in that direction. When I got, went to the other side of this wall, this thing was lighting up. And just like picking up several frequencies. And it actually goes beyond 2.4 gigahertz. It was in the 3.1 gigahertz area. And it seems to be in a band. The thing is, is not omnidirectional. And then when I went on this other wall here, because this is a townhouse, whoever lives on the other side has a router very close. I went to the wall on the other side. I could find where the router was. And this almost directly in between it. Unbelievable. And I don't think it's coming at you in through the antenna. It's coming in, picking it right up in the IF section. And I'll tell you why. I figured this out. I had an FM5, a Dynaco, here on the bench just a little while ago. And I was getting that same, the same noises on this one. Kind of this... <laughs> <laughs> on the stations. Uh, I should uh, should set it up better so you could hear it. But and I'm like, okay, okay, I did alignment on it, everything worked fine. I put the metal lid on it, I take it downstairs, it's down on my main system now. It's not picking it up at all. It's picking everything up, like all the stations up, but no interference like that. So I all I can say is I'm going to look into this more, but... Um, the Wi-Fi routers, especially the newer ones and the 5G cell phones are putting up quite a bit of interference. Now, 
theoretically, it should not influence FM. Okay, going back on everything that I learned quite a few years ago, it's not even in the same frequency. Yet, there are harmonics that can influence things. So, it may be picking it up right on this open capacitor. And here's an interesting thing. I had a Sony receiver here. Oh, I'm trying to remember which one. SC6055? It's the one that it actually has a closed-in capacitor, tuning capacitor. It's from the same vintage, but a little higher up the chain. It wasn't picking any of that up. It was because it's shielded. And it comes right down the old Faraday effect. This has a wooden sleeve, so I think it's more susceptible. The Dynaco I just did, had, it's in like all metal. It's keeping it out off the circuit boards. But something, um, just wonder if you've had any similar things. I know, of course, on AM radio, it's a terrible, like it just drives you nuts sometimes. Um, but on FM radio, it's becoming more common, especially with the type of routers and the different bands that we have now. I want to just end this because there's noise coming up outside. Thanks for watching.